and welcome to Topics, where we count down the very best that YouTube has to offer. This country is great again. We'll all be living long. Today, we're looking at the creme de la creme, which you may not have caught yet, as we look at the top 10 YouTube shows you need to watch. I bet they're absolutely lovely. I bet they are beautiful. Eh, if I were in a relationship with this cartoon, I'd probably still hit it if she let me. For this list, we're looking at series that are exclusive to the web and YouTube. And of course, we'll be excluding our very own top 10s from this countdown. Talk about a waste of resources. Number 10, how it should have ended. Hit me! Ever watched a movie and been most amazed by its plot holes? Or found endless faults with the final scene? How It Should Have Ended picks apart our favorite films and shows us what might have been. Prepare yourself, Frodo! We are almost there! Gandalf, there's fire below us! What if the hobbits didn't walk to Mordor? Or Katniss and Peeta's relationship turned sour? Okay, okay, you got me. I don't really love him. What? <laughs> What if Andy's toys let loose their sentence upon their unsuspecting owner? Mom, I swear the toys came alive! They're alive! Yes, all of them! Can we all agree this was a huge mistake? These animated shorts offer amazing alternate storylines. You might even prefer them to the actual movies themselves. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Number 9. The Philip DeFranco Show, Philip DeFranco. What's up, you beautiful bastards? Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show, and let's just jump into it. As an early bird to the YouTube universe, Philip DeFranco first graced the internet in 2006. His funny, fast-paced, satirical style has since earned him an online network with over 6 million subscribers and 2 billion views. Go to like any bank, pretty much every bank has at least one teller where you're like, God damn, they just let Instagram models fill in when people are sick? And the majority of those stats center around The Philip DeFranco Show, his primary production. On PDS, Philly D rattles through current news topics, celeb stories, and all things pop culture, all with trademark wit and frantic jump cuts aplenty. How little do you have going on in your life that you look at a delivery tool of coffee and you feel attacked and you feel like the people need to know? But what's most impressive about this guy is that he really seems to care about his fans. From opening mail to answering Q&As, He's a man of the people. There's something that is going to disrupt business as usual around every single corner. And while that's scary to a lot of people, that should be exciting to a lot of people because that is where opportunity exists. Number eight, Good Mythical Morning, Rhett and Link. Today we're gonna eat a whole lot of bugs, including this scorpion. Yay. Meet Rhett and Link, best friends since grade school, roommates in college, and all conquering internet tainers. The pair stars in sketches and short films, presents hilarious reviews and countdowns, and competes against each other in a series of outrageous challenges. Check out their taste tests for a flavor of their style. Lots of bacon, lots of vanilla ice cream, lots of goodness sandwiched together. Will it ice cream sandwich? Heck yeah! Good Mythical Morning is the comedic duo's daily talk show, in which they tackle a whole host of weird and random subjects giving us a regular reminder of their unique variety of awesomeness. Call me a nougat again, and I will slap you in the face. Nougat! In October 2016, they celebrated their 1,000th show. Here's hoping for at least a thousand more. We shared 1,000 mornings. Number seven, red versus blue, rooster teeth. Time to put the hammer down, boys. Let's make the lieutenant proud. If you've ever watched any kind of YouTube entertainment, and by the very fact that you're watching this, we're guessing you have, then you've probably heard of Rooster Teeth. I'm Griff, by the way, and I think this is the start of a singularly beneficial relationship where you get me out of all these stupid boot camp drills. Founded in 2003, the Texas-based production company has over 27 million subscribers across all its many channels. But Red vs. Blue was there at the very beginning. The first show Rooster Teeth ever put out, and the longest-running episodic web series of all time, RVB parodies first-person shooters and sci-fi film in a masterclass of machinima animation. To combat this blue enemy, the military has formed a strike force, codename Red Teeth. With 14 seasons and counting, you'll be hooked very quickly, and you'll never be able to play Halo in the same way. Uh, Griff. 
mind telling us a little about that rocket launcher you have there and how it's helping to combat the enemy? This thing? You just gave it to me. And again, why not give it to me? Number six, Death Battle, Screw Attack. These two alien saviors are legendary. And everybody wants to know who would kick whose ass in a fight. Did you ever find yourself asking, what would win between a something and a something else? Well, Screw Attack's death battle provides answers to these most pressing of questions. Wiz and Boomstick call the shots for this show, which sees Sonic fight Mario, Batman vs. Spider-Man, and Trump take on Clinton, among many, many others. And now a question from the audience. Between the two of you, who would win in a fight? <laughs> I'm <a> gonna win! <laughs> these are the fights we'd all like to see with a heap of hilarious pre-match analysis thrown in for our viewing pleasure. On Death Battle, the tale of the tape is as funny as the fights are brutal, and some of these standoffs are seriously harsh. Your favorites might be victorious, but they might also die a very grisly death. Ha! Eat your heart out, Robin Hood! Number 5. Game Theory – The Game Theorists Internet theorists are a phenomenal thing, and not always in a good way, but game theory gets to the crux of console matters like nothing else out there. Sure, this show is primarily designed to entertain, but it also gives us cause to think, or rather rethink, everything we know about our favorite games. You are the creator, you are the builder, and everything revolves around the choices that you make, both figuratively and as we just saw, literally too. Could Mario simply be a selfish animal rights abuser? He is physically beating this animal to get it to do what he wants it to do. Or are we all just Pokemon in disguise? So you, young trainer, are a Pokemon. So is every bug catcher, hoopster, and aroma lady you run into. These aren't just far-fetched ideas, but genuine arguments for some often outrageous possibilities. Channel presenter Matthew Matpat Patrick takes gaming to another level. Care to join him? The threat of death, the guilt, because it never ends. And in a delightfully ironic twist, your personal hell forces you to supervise the exact same security footage that led to your capture in the first place. Number 4. Everything Wrong With Cinema Sins. I'd never given much thought to how I would die. Ironically, everyone else has imagined how Christian Stewart would die. Jeremy Scott and Chris Atkinson, the folks behind CinemaSins, are in many ways two of the toughest critics to ever take on the movie industry. These guys can find fault with literally any film ever made. We just can't. Is there any reason you can't tell your sister about your powers now that you're both adults? When the trolls recommended you keep it from her, she was like six. Big money blockbuster or critically acclaimed indie flick, it matters not on this channel. Nothing is sacred, and nothing is safe. Also, film. Did you ever want to know how much of an ego Arnold Schwarzenegger has? His name appears before the guy who plays Batman. The Everything Wrong With series does exactly what its title suggests. It lists every error in a movie, keeps a running tally, and passes hilariously harsh judgment at the end. While these clips are mostly in good fun, they will change the way you see your favorite films forevermore. Generic bad guy soldiers whose abilities and shortcomings are never explained. Why are they even trying to stop an army that we never want to see kill or injure a human being? Number three, epic rap battles of history. It's a war of words on our next show, which dusts down the mic for some of history's most famous and infamous faces. Politicians, inventors, sports stars, and fictional characters all take to the stage for epic rap battles of history, as hilarity ensues. Let me just say, I respect all females. We rhymes are trash, but up next to your emails. These aren't just amateurish rhymes, though. ERB regularly serves up incredibly clever lines, and there are lots of outrageous insults, too. Barney, take me back to solitary confinement, because this dirty little lamb has just been silenced. Oh, yeah! This channel doesn't post as often as some on today's list, proving that genius really does take time, but it boasts some of the most addictive content on the internet, because just one epic battle is never enough. I'll probably reach across the aisle and bitch smack you as equals! I'm the people! By the people! For the people! Eagle! Ah! Number 
Number two, kids, teens, elders, YouTubers react. Today you get to try this. That does not look good. React is a relatively simple premise, which makes for outstanding online viewing. Essentially, we're entertained by watching other people be entertained, or scared, or confused, or grossed out. <sighs> the series started in 2010, when Fine Brothers Benny and Raffi launched a show based on kids' reactions to famous viral videos. After early success, the idea was expanded to include teenagers, college students, adults, and elders reacting to videos, music, and video games. It's empty! No! No! Oh, I'm so <laughs> It's Grand Theft Auto for goats. In one of the channel's most popular shows, you watch people trying not to laugh at clearly funny stuff, sometimes with success. But trying not to laugh at people trying not to laugh? Well, that's just plain impossible. Oh, oh. I can't breathe. Stop. I'm totally not smiling. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Important message for fake girls emo. If you are not an emo, please don't act because there are many truth emos that are suffering. Facts. You're a catfish? But online you said you were a salmon! You liar! Number one, honest trailers, screen junkies. In a world full of movies and television, only one channel is keeping them honest, screen junkies. Movie trailers are exceptionally big business, racking up millions of views and inflating anticipation for a film to sometimes staggering levels. With honest trailers, screen junkies sets out to satirize the ever popular sneak peeks, producing clips that are a whole lot closer to what the movie is actually about. And is an all-around sociopath. You're the complete serial killer. Not today. It looks like a trailer, sounds like a trailer, but is usually a whole lot less complimentary and loads funnier. Now, get ready for the film adaptation that ended up leaving millions of people around the world asking, is that it? This channel comes with a massive spoiler alert for any film it covers. But if you've seen it, and don't mind it being ruthlessly picked apart in the name of comedy, then press play for our winner. You won't regret it. So get ready for another three seasons of must-see television, full of amazing battles, shocking twists, and stuff you just kinda sit through and wait to be over. That's it for today's list. Which must-watch YouTube show did we forget? As always, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Vote for upcoming lists on our Suggest page. And for more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Why won't anyone believe me? <laughs> Sorry, wrong room.